Today we're gonna to show you how and why you should clean out your inverter welder. Now these things are basically like computers that weld. And so they're an electronic piece of equipment and they need to be cleaned routinely. So we're gonna show you how to blow them down weekly and then what I consider like a three month cleaning for myself. All right, so this is my personal 325 EXT. I've had this machine for close to two years now, running it pretty heavy AC production TIG daily. And this is what I do every week. So at the end of every week, like Friday or Saturday, I'll come out to the shop. I've got my air nozzle, the machine is off. I don't always take everything off the front. We're just taking it off to put it up on the table today. But I'll take and I'll blow out the front of the machine and I'll blow out the side aiming towards the back. And the reason I do that is because the intake fan is on the back. So the highest concentration of dust and, and grime is on the back of the machine. And while I wanna blow all the dust out, ideally, I don't wanna blow as much dust as humanly possible through the machine first. So I always blow the machine out from front to back. And you always wanna have the machine off, number one. You always wanna have the machine off whenever you go to blow it out. Because if there is a large collection of metal shavings in the machine, like we said, it's an electrical piece of equipment, you're throwing a whole bunch of conductive things in the air, and that can cause some problems if the machine is on and you're trying to blow it out. I do this weekly, so usually my machine stays pretty clean on a week-to-week -week basis. Now, I do that every week, but about every three months, I'll pull the machine apart, pull the case off, and I'll go in and I'll turn my air pressure way down and I'll get in and I'll get all the little nooks and crannies where dust and metal shavings can kind of hide out. So now I'm gonna show you how to take this thing apart real quick, pull the cover off, and kind of some of the problem areas I see where stuff tends to get stuck. First thing I'm gonna do, we've got five side panel screws, five on each side, so we've got 10 side screws. We've got four on the back panel. And we've got a couple on the bottom side as well. So I'll go ahead and start taking these screws out and we'll pull this case off. All right, so now that we are taking this back panel off, we're gonna pull the case of the machine off. You always wanna make sure your machine is unplugged when you're gonna get inside of it. I've had my machine unplugged now for about the last 30, 45 minutes, so it's more than safe to take the cover off. But please remember, whenever you go to pull the case, always unplug your machine, let it sit for 20, 25 minutes, and let those capacitors decharge. So now let's pull this thing apart, and I'll show you how to clean it out. All right, so once I get my, my machine apart, the first thing I normally do, I'll set the case off to the side like this. There's a whole bunch of dust and dirt inside here, so I'll spray it down with Windex, take a clean cloth, wipe down the inside, I'll try to get these louvers, get some of the dust out from inside of them, just because it's, it's extra dust that doesn't need to be there, so we might as well get it off while we've got it apart. So now that we've cleaned the inside of the case, we're moving on to actually cleaning the machine. Now, obviously you don't want to spray liquid onto the machine, so I'll get another paper towel. I'll spray the paper towel and I'll kind of wipe down the back face of the machine. I'll go through and clean the fan blades and the fan housing just to get any extra dust out of it. That's where I like to stop with actually wiping things down. You've got a lot of wire connections in here, plugs, the capacitors, you know, they should be decharged after 20, 25 minutes, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. So I don't try to wipe down anything else. If the dirt is stuck on there and it's not causing a problem, then I'm gonna let it be. So now we're gonna get our air hose back out, turn my air pressure down. I only like to run about 25, 30 PSI when I have the machine open and I'll stay you know, a foot away from it and just kind of puff the machine and try to get the loose dirt out off the boards and out of the case. So let me turn my air pressure down, I'll get my air nozzle back out and we'll start blowing this thing out now. We'll go through and you can see where we have these little cobwebs. I live out in the country so I get a lot of spiders in my shop and they tend to light the machine. So I'll try to get these cobwebs off. Just a real light, just a real light puff. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but there was quite a bit of dust that came out of this thing, got the cobwebs out. So I'll just go around and puff it until I don't see any more dust coming out of the machine. Then I know it's gotta be pretty clean. And right now too is a good time if you, you've been running your machine for a while and haven't checked your points, now is of course a really good time to get out your feeler gauges 
and check your points. So if you look down in the description, we actually just filmed one of those videos adjusting the points on another machine. And it's a, basically a step-by-step -step tutorial. Pretty much the same you know, implies for this machine as well. So it, they're basically the same process. So I'm gonna get this button back up, get it back together, and then it's gonna be in service for another three months before I need to pull it apart and blow it out again. This is basically three months worth of grime just off the fan. I'm Jesse McCollum, brand ambassador for Everlast Welders. Please clean your machine.